In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch of handy new Blender add-ons and updates which are gonna enhance your workflow using Blender. From fluid simulations to character rigging, in addition to a bunch of tools that can keep you sharp and organized. Before we continue, I want to tell you about the last drawing tablet from XP Pen. The XP Pen Deco 640 is a compact and budget-friendly drawing tablet. It is ideal for beginners or anyone looking for something portable. It is slim at just 7.7 mm of thickness with an active area of 16 by 9 cm or about the size of a small notebook, so it won't clutter your desk and it is easy to carry around. Additionally, its P01 stylus doesn't need batteries, which means no charging to worry about, and it includes 10 extra nibs for when you need replacements. With 16K levels of pressure sensitivity and a 60 degree tilt range, it offers good control over your lines and shading. It is also compatible with a wide range of platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, and Chrome OS, and it connects via USB-C or a simple setup. This tablet doesn't have extra buttons or screens, keeping things uncomplicated and user-friendly. While the drawing surface might show somewhere over time with heavy use, it is still a practical choice for illustration, digital learning, signing, or maybe some little games and so on, making it a portable option for any artist. Kicking things off, we've got Cell Fluids, which just got an amazing 2.0 update, and this makes fluid simulations in Blender way more practical and actually fun to use. So, if you're into creating realistic or stylized fluids, this new update elevated the add-on's value with some really nice features. First, the resolution control is a huge deal. It basically lets you balance performance and detail depending on your scene, which I think is super handy for both small-scale animations and bigger simulations. And this could also be handy for those of you that have slower machine but still want to have some sort of fluid simulation in their projects. Then there's the curve guide, which makes controlling the flow of your fluid as simple as drawing curves. And generally, this is a solid option if you're looking for a more natural or dynamic fluid behavior. Another thing that I really liked is the Ocean Blender feature that lets you seamlessly merge your fluid simulation with an ocean plane, so you don't have to worry about weird edges ruining your scene. On top of that, this new update introduced some new shaders and materials like lava and oil. And my personal favorite is the stylized water shader for those anime-like fluids. Generally speaking, this add-on is lightweight, easy to use, and can save you the hassle of creating complex fluid simulations inside Blender. Now, let's talk about another new add-on called Clay Pencil which offers an exciting way to explore how grease pencil strokes can be converted into 3D geometry using geometry nodes in Blender. And this add-on comes with some demo files that demonstrate the technique's potential, showcasing creative samples that blend 2D sketching with 3D modeling. The package includes three distinct demos, a cowboy animation, a fire effect, and a tutorial setup to help you understand the workflow. These files highlight how you can generate geometry such as tubes, fills, or custom shapes by adjusting settings like radius, resolution, and materials. They also showcase advanced features like blending multiple shapes, using stroke thickness to control geometry, and even remeshing for smoother results. Since Clay Pencil is an experimental approach, these demo files serve as a guide to navigate its possibilities and some of its limitations. And by the way, this add-on comes for free, so you might as well check it out. Now, let's check something practical with Alt-Tab Silhouette 3000 Plus Assets. And as you might expect, this is an asset library packed with over 3000 high-quality 4K Silhouette Assets. The library is great for quickly populating your scenes with clean, scalable elements across categories like animals, vegetation, people, buildings, vehicles, and more. Generally, this is considered a lifesaver when you need to add detail without spending hours creating assets from scratch. And it looks just great since you're probably gonna be placing these assets away from the camera. 
and what makes it even better is that they include a blender add-on which simplifies placement and customization allowing you to align silhouettes in the 3d space or directly to the camera and you can also flip them change colors or tweak their layout or from a clean easy to use interface and if you want more flexibility the library doesn't stop at blender it also includes procreate and photoshop brush packs making it a great resource for artists working across different platforms or who want to work on different projects. Now we're going to talk about another new add-on called Wiggly, which takes animation to a fun and dynamic level with noise-driven deformations, which can be lightweight yet powerful. So in a nutshell, the add-on lets you quickly add natural, fluid motion to your objects in a short period of time. It automatically generates a lattice around your object, which can fit to its size and offers customizable resolution for finer or brighter deformations. And what makes this add-on stand out is how easy it is to tweak the motion. You can adjust the noise intensity, speed, and even the seed to get a variety of effects, and you can do that in real time. Plus, its loopable noise ensures seamless, repeatable animations which I think is great for those entertaining looping sequences. And if you need more control, the gradient feature allows selective deformation by applying movement to specific areas of the lattice, making it possible to create targeted effects like rippling waves or jittery edges. Next is the stylized building library by Casey Sheep. Known for their stylized asset collections, and this library includes over 500 assets spanning medieval, fantasy, European, Asian, ruins, and town themes. So whether you are building a sprawling fantasy village or just a detailed urban background, this library right here offers a range of buildings and smaller objects like street signs, market stalls, and benches to add variety to your scenes. However, you have to keep in mind that it is intended for background use rather than close-up shots. In addition, the assets aren't game-ready, and their UVs and topology aren't optimized for detailed rendering, but it works with Blender 3.4 to 4.3 in EV and Cycles. And if you're exporting these assets to other software, you will have to handle that yourself. The next add-on is called Outliner Pro. So if you've ever wrestled with managing objects and collections in Blender's Outliner, this tool makes the whole process smoother, faster, and kind of fun. For starters, it lets you move objects and collections without the endless scrolling and dragging, and honestly, it can be a lifesaver if you are working with complex scenes. Plus, you can create new collections on the spot and immediately drop objects into them. The color syncing feature is probably my favorite. It matches object colors to their collections, making everything pop visually and help me spot what I need at a glance. Another interesting thing is active object syncing, which keeps your outliner focused on whatever you have selected. So no more searching through hierarchies, and let's not forget how it syncs render visibility with viewport visibility, ensuring your renders actually look like what they have set up. Also, the quick renaming tool in the Outliner can be another lifesaver, simply because it lets you rename objects based on their collection names in no time so that you don't have to do that manually. Next, we have a new add-on called Transformator, which from what I can see seems like a practical add-on that makes working with transforms feel like second nature. It's good for tweaking single object or coordinating a whole bunch of elements, and this tool keeps the process smooth and efficient. Still with animation, we have a new add-on called Blaze Animate, which helps a lot when it comes to creativity in rigging characters and animation. This is the case because it skips the usual headaches of digging through bone hierarchies and lets you jump straight into animating by simply clicking and dragging in the viewport. What really stands out for me is how intuitive it feels. The drag and animate feature doesn't just simplify things, it makes the process enjoyable. Add to that the smart visual feedback and tools for isolating bone collections and you've got a cleaner, more focused workspace. And if you're working with dense rigs, 
tools like freeze and freeze bones and so on, you can use shift plus click for selection and cycling through recently adjusted controllers, which can be a time saver. The add-on also remembers your preferred methods for transforms, keeping things consistent across sessions. Now from animations, let's now talk about something else with a new add-on called Assetify. And this add-on is focused on simplifying the process of preparing assets for external platforms like Unity, Unreal Engine, or even 3D printing. One of the add-on's practical features is how it handles automated baking and UV unwrapping. For example, if you've been using procedural materials or geometry nodes, it can UV unwrap and bake these into standard textures, also meshes, that other software can work with. It also has a collection-based workflow, which is especially handy for projects with multiple objects. And if you've got a group of assets, like props for a game scene, the add-on can batch process them to export while keeping your Blender project intact. It also supports multiple formats, including FBX, GLTF, OBJ, in addition to STL, covering most needs for game dev, AR, VR, or even 3D printing. Another interesting but simple add-on is called Linkage Custom Top View. In a nutshell, the add-on reconfigures Blender's top view to match industry standards, flipping the x-axis upward for better alignment with tools like Alias. So this is especially useful if you are someone who jumps between different software, and this feature is small, but it makes a lot of difference. What I like most about it, as you can see, is that it caters to workflows where orientation consistency is critical. So for automotive design or any task requiring you to transition between tools, this add-on allows you to focus on what really matters, and that is your design and your project. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.